Last but not least, I now call upon Mr. Eitan Wertheimer of Israel to please rise. In recognition of your significant support of Israeli society and the Technion, in gratitude for your profound commitment to promoting education in Israel through your admirable leading role in the Atidim program, and in tribute to your contribution to projects for advancing education in Israel's disadvantaged and outlying communities, including the Technion Center for Pre-University Education Programs for Jewish Orthodox and Arab Youth. Behokara al tmichatcha rabat hamashmaud bechevra israelit ba Technion, al mesirutcha ve mechuyavutcha haitana lekidum achinuch be medinat Israel, באמצעות מנהיגותך מעוררת הערכה בתוכנית עתידים וברחשי תודה על תרומתך לפרויקטים חינוכיים המיועדים לקידום החינוך בפריפריה החברתית והגיאוגרפית לרבות המכינה הטכניונית לצעירים מהמגזר החרדי והמכינה לצעירים מהמגזר הערבי. פרופסור שפיטלני, אני מבקש אותך לפרסם את הסקרול. I now invite Mr. Dr. Wertheimer to respond. First, I want to thank the committee for electing to award me with this honor. But I must say very open, it's not me standing here. It's a lot of other wonderful people that I'm just representing them. Either people in the, our businesses, in ISCA or Blades or other elements, or people in Atidim or in NAM or in uh, the loan fund, the Roma Zafona, or people uh, in Rambam and many other places. I was fortunate to be born to a wonderful family, wonderful father, wonderful mother. She's not there, unfortunately. And I have two good sisters and one wonderful brother. And uh, I was lucky to find my hero in the house. My father became a hero also for many other people in the country. And I was very fortunate and I'm very happy he's here. The second important decision I made in my life was to convince my wife to get married with me. <laughs> but we're pretty helpful. The rest is five children, a wonderful family. And uh, as my father once came to him, asked him, how do you run a business? He told me, business you run from your cup, family you run from your heart. But later I found out it's not enough. It's not enough, you also have to do other things. And I went to Warren Buffett and asked him, how you do your things? And he, told, he taught me the lesson, balancing between your cup, your heart, and your pocket, <laughs> and trying to keep it. Then I was fortunate enough to find another gentleman that asked me a little question. Do you want to be the richest guy in the cemetery? You'll be dead anyhow. And uh, then I started doing a lot of serious experimenting, which I still do today, and a long series of mistakes, trying to see, can I make an impact? Can I do something better? I joined Atidim uh, after it was founded by General Mufaz and two wonderful people, Mr. Barazani and Tal Dilian from the army, when it was three months old. And last year we crossed the 22,000 young people in universities from the periphery. And we are dreaming to be 40,000, 50,000. We're starting to work today on preparing for social entrepreneurship and for economic entrepreneurship with micro-banking a purpose to make sure we make success all the way. I was fortunate and not very fortunate to find the Technion as a home for most of our team program because we needed a good home. We can help a little bit, but we needed the knowledge and the, and the father and the mother for the whole thing. Later, we came also with many other programs. I'm very fortunate to work also with the Technion, with the Rambam project, and very successful. Also, it's a long one trying to combine economical model into philanthropy to make it ever long lasting model to see if it works and it so far works wonderful and I'm very, very grateful to the Technion being our home and our mama in this area. It's rather uh, peculiar a little bit 
that uh, a professor for sleep, Peretz Lavi is a professor for sleep, has a task to wake up the future. In the everlasting world of education, that every time you do something, you know, it's, you have to do the next story because the world evolves and learning belongs to the future. Our knowledge belongs to the past anyhow. I would like to say here that besides being honored, and I'm so very thankful, and I'm very honored to be with this fine group of people, I would like to dream. I would like to dream about welfare and justice that will embrace the whole people with economical success between Benghazi and Baghdad. I would like to dream that peace will conquer every square meter and every heart between Benghazi and Baghdad in a real way. I would like to, to dream that we'll find how to bring the keys for that formula, which lies in knowledge transferred into application, transferred into success, in, into technology. And I hope to, to see economies, knowledge-based economy, emerge in those countries, because we all dream about Israel in the next 100, 100 years. I dream that Israel and the Technion in the next 100 years will be the sugar in the world milk. And I want to say that my job is to try to plant trees so other people will sit in their shade. And I'm very, very fortunate to be part of wonderful people that I just represent them and that do a wonderful job. And your applause is the applause for them. And thank you for honoring me. Thank you.